Whether you choose to receive the surplus list daily or weekly, the same steps are used when bringing a new list into your database software. You will log in to the surplusdatabase.com website and you will go to My Account. And we are uh, going to get the new list for the day. This example has a daily delivery of the surplus records. So every day I would come in and download the new lists for Florida. I'm going to go into Florida Records. Clicking here on this icon will bring me to the repository where all the surplus lists are held. And right here you will always see the current password. We do change it every now and then, so if you find you can't log in, always come here to this page and make sure you're putting in the current password. And for now, I'm going to copy, highlight and copy the password, and then I'll click on the icon to open up the repository and just paste in that password that I copied. And I'll say that I've already downloaded uh, July 17th and 18th and July 22nd is the new list that I don't have yet. So I'm going to just double click on that. And I'm using Edge browser and it's going to ask me down here what I want to do with that file I just double clicked on. So I'm going to just choose open so that I can open the list and have a look at it before I save it where uh, I want to save it on my computer. And if you get this yellow bar across the top, you do want to click on Enable Editing. And here I can just see the records that I'm about to import into the database. And then I'm going to save this in a location that I have created on my computer, which in my case, I have a folder on my desktop called Florida Surplus Lists. So I can be organized and every time I download a new one, I'll put it into that same folder. And now I want to make sure that I close the Excel spreadsheet so that we can import it into the database. So I'm going to open up my surplus database. And again, if you get the yellow bar across the top, simply click enable content. And now what I want to do is import that new Excel spreadsheet I just downloaded. So I'm going to go to Import Records, click on the Import Records button at the top here, and then I need to browse and locate that file I just downloaded. And then I'm going to click on it and choose Open. And here you want to append a copy of the records to the tax deed records table. Always choose this one when you're importing new records. Click OK. And this just kind of gives you uh, a summary of the ones that you're importing. The box here for the first row contains column headings should already be checked, but if it is not, make sure it is checked. Click Next and this is fine and finish. You do not want to check this box. You don't want um, Microsoft access to run a wizard to analyze your table data because it tries to get you to do things you don't need to do. Just leave that unchecked and click finish. And you also do not need to save the import steps because they will not be the same each time. The file name is going to be different. So you, do, you don't want to click on this box. You just click close and then import complete you have a, a box that pops up to tell you to be sure to click the button populate record IDs which is this button here and it's very important you do this it'll tell you that you're about to update uh, a query um, that will modify modify the data in your table which is fine you want to click yes and then it's going to tell you how many records that you're importing that you're going to be adding the record IDs to just click yes and that's it I'm going to close this and if I click on new records no status it's going to show me the records I just imported there were five of them and you can see it was for auction date uh, 722 I have all of them here so with this report of the new records you can look at them since there's only five it's not so difficult to just look through really quick and just get a feel for what is there and let's say you and your company don't even want to deal with records that are say under 15,000 and I can easily see that there are two of them here 
that are under 15,000. So maybe what I want to do is go to record management. I'm going to click the button that says to ignore all records under 15,000. And you want to click yes, and it's going to tell you how many records it's about to modify. As we just saw, there were only two of them that were under 15,000. So yes. I'm going to go back to the main menu, and if I click on the uh, new records button again, you can see that those two were removed. And now let's say I, I want to modify one uh, of the statuses of a record that I know I'm not going to go after for some reason or another. Uh, like this one, it says uh, the owner is uh, an, an estate, so this person is deceased. Let's say I definitely don't want to go after ones where the owner is deceased. I don't want to try to locate their heirs and go through probate, etc. So if I want to ignore this one record, I can click here under record ID and it'll bring that record up in the full form. And all I need to do under record status is change this to ignore record. I don't have to click save or anything. Once you make a change in the database, it's automatically saved. I'm just going to close this form and on this report, since it was still open, it doesn't automatically go away until you open it up again or right now in the report view, you can press the F5 key on your keyboard and it will, it will refresh this form and take that one away. And there we go. So I'm left with these two records that I'm ready to deal with. And it's at this point you will go through, uh, make sure you read the database user manual and you will go through each of the steps needed uh, to work on each particular record.